Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today we will be learning how to create this awesome dual lighting effect. Let's get into it. This effect looks the best on photos with dark backgrounds. You are also going to want to make sure the photo has been converted to grayscale. To do this, simply select the layer with your image on it, and go up to Colors, down to Saturation, and decrease the slider bar all the way down. And then I'll click OK. Now we are going to create two layers. I'm going to name them Gradient 1 and Gradient 2. Next, decide what colors you're going to use. I will use red and blue. First, select the Gradient tool. Then to create the first gradient, I will make the foreground color blue, and the background color black. Then I will make sure my gradient 1 layer is active. Then I will click and drag my gradient so that the blue is positioned on the right and the black on the left. Since the light is mostly coming from the right side, I am positioning the gradient colors to start on that side. To finalize my gradient, I will press enter on my keyboard. Then to create the second gradient, I will make the foreground color red and the background color remains black. Then I will select my gradient 2 layer and drag out the gradient tool so that the red side is also on the right and the black side is on the left. And then press enter on my keyboard. You want to make sure that the highlight color gradient layer is positioned above the general photo color layer. Since I want most of the light to be blue, my layer order is red on top for the highlight, blue in the middle, and the photograph on the bottom. For a moment, I'm going to hide the red layer and focus on the blue. We want to change the blending mode of this layer to overlay. We can now see how the gradient is acting, darkening the left side and lightening the right. Before we unhide the red layer, we want to right-click it and go down to Add Layer Mask. From here, choose the second option, Black with Full Transparency, and click Add. Now we can unhide the red layer, and then select our brush tool, and make sure our foreground color is set to white. You want to make sure the hardness of the brush is turned down, because we will be painting the red highlights, and we want them to be soft. Make sure the layer mask is selected, and start painting out red highlights. I'm going to paint them on the farthest right-hand side of the model, so it matches with some of the highlights already on the image. If you make a mistake, simply select the eraser tool and erase parts of the mask you do not want. Then we want to select the red gradient layer again, so you're going to select it from the mask. And you're going to change the blend mode down to HSL color. And again, after looking at this, if you want to add more red, simply go to the brush tool, select your layer mask, and paint. When we have highlights that we are happy with, we want to make sure the mask is still selected, and go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Using this filter, we want to soften the appearance of the edges and blend the red highlights into our photo to look more natural. Make sure Preview is selected so you can see how the blur will look. When you are happy with the appearance, select OK. If you want to turn down the harshness of the red highlights, simply select the red highlight layer and use the opacity slider bar up here.
and that's it. You've created an awesome dual lighting effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.